All right, so this is just a quick, a um, little bit more in depth of what a end game character tries to look like. Yeah, probably a bit of a breakdown of how everything works. A little bit more of a breakdown of your talents, your skills, that kind of stuff. Bit of a closer look. Bit of a little bit, little bit closer look. Not that close. No, it's, Sorry about it's that. It's awful. Like it. We're awful. All right, so, so where we'll are we? just we're where at are we the, right now. We're at the base of operations. All right, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Well, it's sure. It's, it's always close. Christmas. Yeah, it's close to Christmas. This started with Black Friday, right? Right. So you're probably at least a couple months into this. But this room doesn't change. It's always just rather Christmassy looking, with the wreath there. Yeah, pretty much. Gotcha. The room will change though. Yeah. Like you'll add new wings. So as you increase, so this is here, your personal base of operation. This is my personal base. Right. It's the same as everybody else's, but yep. You got your the own. more you complete missions for your medical wing, your tech wing, and your security wing, the yep. better it's going to get. So gotcha, little gotcha. things like your security wing here, you have your upgrades. Gotcha. Keep so yeah. these so upgrades is, are going to afford your own you private. Yeah. And these are going to give yeah. you different abilities. So if you upgrade the armory, you're going to get better mobile cover. Uh, you're going to get more grenades. And you're going to get an advanced weaponry vendor right, so right each, in your base. Uh, each wing gives you different. It perks, gives you different right? perks yeah. and talents and all that kind of I stuff. I got you. Little things like this. This is your scavenger crate. So those out. go around. Boom. Now you got something that you can break down. Because let's face it, end game is about breaking shit. Yeah. Down. So you basically just every now and then you get resources delivered, yeah, right? Yeah. Exactly. Because you increased your which wing. This is your security wing. That's through security. security so increasing wing. your security will deliver you resources every now and then. Again. Yeah, exactly. Same I really have never played parts. this game, so I have no idea. No, but you've done the... I'm here to ask the questions that someone who's never played would ask. Yeah, and that's I'm here to answer them yeah. to the best Dog of my case. ability. Uh, those are all the fallen soldiers. That you have fallen, or that... Just in general. It's just the just general, general number? Because it would be cool um, if it showed kills. Yeah, that would be awesome. Uh, ooh, high-end weapon parts... <laughs> Not bad. Right, again, resources. Resources. Right? Yep. Little things like uh, you can go over here. This is a clothing Pierce. appearance yeah. vendor, Check which is basically selection. at this point because I have it's all the, the biggest clothes. Thing in the game. It's just your uh, weapon skins. Right. So if we get into our appearance here, it's very in depth. These are just the hats. Aesthetical? These are purely aesthetics. Right. They have no hey, on, variation on so what you your can character have end game gear without looking like every end game character because you That's equip right. the good gear and then throw your own hat on top. Exactly. Gotcha. Um, again, these are just the hats. Yeah. These are just the hats. You don't have all of the hats, do you? I have all of the hats. Okay. These, there we That's go. That's them all. These are mm. just the jackets. Again, purely... Aesthetical value. That's all this is. But that's good. I like that. That's an option to make your character look different. You don't yep. all look the same. Um. So you know something like that. Ooh, that's cool. All the way to something. This is a uh, one of the DLCs. Neat. Something like this. That's one of my personal favorites. Yeah, it's the coat. Yep. Then you get inspect it. Get in there. Nice looking coat. Yeah. A little bit thin. Once you get cold. Oh, you want to get a little thicker? Yeah. That's you want to get better. a little thicker? It's a better idea. Let's get one of these ones. Boom! Look at that. Why is that a thing now? Because that's very in. Those poofy. Oh, very. I don't like that. They actually have. I mean, if I'd I'm them. not mistaken, I'll find one. Do they have you. a vest? They don't have any. They don't have any uh, torso shorts. No torso Missed shorts. Missed opportunity, guys. I know. Do believe that they have one called a white puff? <gasps> white puff jacket. Okay, let's go with that. That's all right. It's puff. It's white. They're not wrong. We're not going to get into this. Uh, scarves and pants. So this is all just aesthetical then? That's all this is. Oh, okay, I got you. So we're actually going to take this off. Appearance, right? Yeah, I yeah, got you. This is all this is. Whereas something like this now, we're getting into your right. actual gear. Your gear. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab some... We'll, we'll go upstairs here. I do um, think it's awesome that they have kept appearance and then functionality completely going? separate. So. To that's, a degree. Yeah, I mean, as if much you as see you someone wearing my backpack, he's probably he's done this before. Yeah, the backpack is part of your gear, though, right? It's so this is your... your oh, I don't know why it's giving me this. It's probably because I'm playing it on a new Xbox. Hey, gotta see it to believe. But, yeah, uh, I guess this you isn't can the regular see, Xbox. Yeah, so you can see we got some... On the right side of your weapons there, there's a gear score. So right. this is new since the 
uh, release of the game. This is one of the, the patches. The, the one that ruined the game, but made it better for, for the long run. The next patch, 1.2, is going to be way better. They said so. And I believe them, because I'm a sucker. Um, so these are your high-end guns, basically. Uh, every gun you see... So... If we look at my guns no here, this is one of the other guns that I bought. This, oh, the Ogbar? Uh, this Ogbar. This Og A3 Para XS is actually a pretty decent gun. It's a gear score Those 204. Those are always the coolest guns. They're pretty cool looking so guns. Dope. So you'll look at the gun here. It's got... All some machine guns have got a base critical chant, hit chance. So they have the higher crit then. Subs. Hit chance. They yeah. all have... All some machine guns have a critical hit chance. This one's 22 and a half, which is pretty low end. So but, that is higher though. Like an assault rifle wouldn't have. The yeah, same if you critical. look at my black market AK, it doesn't have that talent to rate. So off what the does bat. it have? It what has, does an assault rifle offer you that a submachine gun? It's does? got better range, right? And it usually has a higher damage, but because this one's a two hundred four and this one's a one, right? That one's fully upgraded. So I mean, yeah. yeah. But you, you, this would be your critical weapon. Whereas the other one, would this is more this is my primary. Damage. This yeah, is my so primary. Burst yeah. damage versus yeah. a consistent damage. So you can see my damage is high. My rounds per minute's pretty decent. My magazine's on the smaller side. Believe it or not, submachine gun, right? Yeah. Well, actually, you you can get your submachine guns pretty high. Okay. Like the MP5, the Navy MP5, and all the MP5s, you can get like sixty three rounds, pretty good. which is pretty damn good. It gets your deeps, but that's enough to DPS. drop a guy, right? Oh yeah, that's gonna so, be I more mean, than enough. As long as you get there. one kill per mag, you're good. Pretty close to. Yeah. Um, with rogues in the dark zone, yeah, it's well, not gonna be one. That's different though. That's way different. Um, you can see I've got some pretty decent talents on this one. Again, this is the one of the ones that you can just buy. I didn't roll this one. Right, we'll, you just purchased it. Yeah, we'll try rolling a gun just for shits and giggles. Um, but this one's got brutal. Right, so you can re-roll talents and get a random. You don't re-roll the talents on you weapons. Have to re the whole... You got to re-roll the whole thing. Well, okay, gotcha. But for your gear, I'll show you just in a second. You can, but you uh, re-roll single things. Here. So we've got our brutal, which is your headshot damage is increased by twenty four and a half percent. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Don't Vicious, your critical hit chance, thirteen point five. So you add that thirteen point five to the twenty two right. and a half, starting to get pretty good chance that you're going to get a critical. And then and it, the increased damage too. Right? And then you got your meticulous. You've for your high end weapons, you've always got three talents, and yep. one is always guaranteed to be unlocked. The two, you need your firearms, your stamina, and your electronics. Right. To That's meet the, the requirements. requirements, right? That's the requirement. So for that requirement isn't necessarily tied to the skill as it is tied to the slot. Is that what I'm understanding? The requirement to put... So the requirement to have Brutal on this weapon is 2,500 firearms, which I meet. Right. So, so if we what go if to I the wanted black a market, different talent there? It would cost something else. I got gotcha. you. Okay. So like for so this you... one, I've got my critical hit yeah. damage increased... And I've also got Brutal. This is a pretty good roll. It's not a god roll by any means, but it's pretty good. And then Restored, because my electronics are so low, so low right now, I don't meet the requirement. So I can't, I don't use this. No, but uh, it, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Like, the skill cost the requirements, right? Yeah. Uh, this is my sniper rifle. That headshot damage is 162%. Yep. I've got Unforgiving. So basically, the lower health you are, the more damage you create. Uh, stable, just the stability on the yep. weapon, pretty self exploit And again, deadly, critical hit damage. You always, deadly, what is it? Deadly, brutal, and fierce. And vicious, sorry. Deadly, brutal, and vicious are the ones you want. If you can get a what weapon roll health, with those yeah. three, you're hey, good to go. You're looking for? Um, or is it deadly, brutal, and fierce? Now, are those sort of just always the skills that you want, or is it dependent those on the are weapon? The god like, if I had a shotgun, would I want that same You're thing? You're still going to want the same thing. Yep. Those are god roll skills. That's okay. what you want. Um, we get into... Uh, you can get really in-depth when you look at your character. So it's going to give you your firearms. My weapons right now, so with the weapon I had in hand, which I think was... Yeah, I've got my... Uh, Og. My Og here. Um, with that weapon in hand, I can do 204% headshot damage, 143% critical hit damage. And my chance is at 36%. You want to get your chance a little bit higher than that, but that's pretty decent. Yeah. Um, your combat, again, so this is going to be damage to elites, enemy armor damage, all that kind of stuff. Health on kill is always nice to have, too. Yeah. 
Um, the survivability, what you want to do is get your armor as high as possible. 65% armor mitigation or damage mitigation is as high as you can get. I'm at 55. 65 is max? 65 is max. I'm at 56-ish, which isn't too bad. Yep. Um, but yeah, then you have the exploration. Increase XP and stuff. Yeah, yeah, all that shit. You don't really need to know. Nope. Um, so we go back to overview. These are the gear sets. Mm-hmm. So these are these were added with the 1.1 update. Uh, so they, they weren't there before then? No. These basically uh-huh. replace your gold items or your high-end items. Uh, and what these do is pretty neat, actually. It mm-hmm. gives you... So if I have two... Of the gear set pieces, I get 30% headshot damage. Yeah, 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 you get gear bonuses, right? Yeah, yeah. You're wearing the whole set, so you get bonuses. I'm wearing three of the four pieces. Yep, I got you. So I don't get the final bonus, which right. is headshot marks the enemy, increasing the damage inflicted on the target by 15% yeah, for duration. Of t- it, But you can get up to 45% damage on the target. Right. If you have all, all, all four pieces on. So but I'm running a three four. and three. Oh, because, you just try. You got two separate sets, so you got because I, I got have. Yep, so I've got the uh, the what he called. With this one, I've got headshot damage, damage to elites, and then with my striker, I've got enemy armor damage and critical hit damage. So I'm rolling like four different bonuses here. So you, how many? You have six slots in total. Then. Six slots you can and wear you can in your equip sets. it however you want. Yeah. So you could go three and three. You could go two and two and two or yep, yeah, exactly or four and two. Whatever. You can do it however you like. Like, my That's second it. character is kitted out more for electronics. Yep, yep. All that kind of stuff, because it's more of a support role. Um, so you've got... You can do your recalibration here as well. It's crazy expensive. Uh, so if I wanted to re-roll, say... I've already re-rolled this, mm-hmm. so I can't re-roll it again. I can only re-roll that one thing again. Right. Um, oh, uh, another thing too is you can really increase what your character stats with these uh, mod spots. So yep. you see those two open or those two yellow. Yep. Basically, those just for a mod spot. So this one gives me increased stamina, and it also adds armor and health. Sweet. So it just helps to bump up your character, yep. basically. Artifacts. Uh, yeah. Best gear for uh, so, right like, if I want to roll... So, I rolled that one already. I rolled everything. Yeah. Okay. I usually do. So. But, yeah, you can re-roll that to try and get higher stamina. But you it's, may get lower. You may get... Lo- well, you you'll get never get... You'll, you'll probably get lower, but you can keep it the same, too. Yeah. But it's 106,000 credits to do that. Yeah, no thanks. It's pretty pretty pricey. I do it. I re-roll everything. Because I don't need uh, increased kill XP anymore. Yeah, you don't need XP, right? Boosts if you're at Uh, cap. Although it might not be bad to keep some stuff for expansion. Yeah, we'll see. Experience coming back into play. We'll see. I don't think experience will ever. So we'll get into... Let's just craft... So these are are crafting weapons. So these are blueprints that I've either brought from the... uh, (coughs) The Dark Zone or just... I bought or yep. received or bought from upstairs or whatever it is. So what all weapon classes do we have? Then we have so you have your assault rifle. Yeah. Subs. Submachine gun. Snipe. Marksman. And light machine gun. Nice. Light machine guns are useless right really? now. Really? That sucks. Yeah. They give that would you, be fun just being a gunner where you just mount and just They give you low up. damage. Uh, the only thing they do is they... Uh, Suppress the enemy so he'll keep his head down. Yeah. But that just means that you got to run around and flank him. And in some missions, it's like I'm not going to move. There's no point in running around and flanking him. Just wait till he stands up and headshot him. Yeah. So we'll roll. What do you want to roll? Let's snipe. roll a black. Do a snipe. You want to do a sniper rifle? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, why not? As you can see, I've got. This is going to require six weapon parts You're and fine. four tools. Got lots, I'm man. good for right now. Let's do a sniper rifle. Let's see what we get. So it's random then. Completely random. So crap. We'll back out. It's probably going to be shit because there's already one thing that's locked. So I've got 156 percent headshot damage. That's pretty decent. It's not bad. Uh, Forty two thousand damage restored. We cannot remove. Is that what I'm getting? Why is it locked? The only reason it's locked is because my electronics aren't high enough Ah, to use it. I've got determined my electronics will never be high enough to use it. 
And the only one that's unlocked is uh, Toxic. Sucks. So what you do is All you take... All those skills suck. So what you do is you take that one, and you dismantle it. Then we try again. And then you get one... Part back. One weapon and one yep. tool. That you get a little bit back. And then you can just keep doing that forever. The whole point of the 1.2 update is they want you to stop fucking crafting and they want you to... Go find weapons. Go find weapons. They want you to make your character better... By working. By working. Yeah, by killing yeah, bad guys and the, you'll get start. Right now the problem is in the dark zone and in the game, when you do kill a boss or something, it's not going to be good enough to make your character better. Right. So all you do is deconstruct it so you can have the crafting and you material. craft something better. Exactly. So with but this 1.2 update, they are so. claiming that they're going to be really generous and that you're going to yeah. get stuff to make your characters better. It's just at a point you've topped out though, right? Like... Yeah, I'm, there's still I'm still way. Yep, right. Like, a lot of people. Yeah, I guess. a uh, to topo right now you'd have to be a 240, and I'm a 200. Right. So I mean, the fact that you have spent like you said 15 fucking days on this game and you're not even near the top tells me that maybe they could be a bit more generous. A little bit more with the drops. A little yeah. more. The problem is that this game was full of bugs. Yeah. Riddled with bugs. They had other things to worry about. Riddled first. with exploits, and yeah. the problem is that people exploited this game so badly. Like Why you look at you my know? pouches. I would have. My pouches, so they would have like I have five electronics right now. Okay. They would have ninety nine nine hundred and ninety nine electronics. <laughs> for everything. Yeah. They would have everything nine hundred and ninety like they would just be fucking maxed out. Why did you do that? Because I don't care. Yeah. It's not fun. I don't yeah, want yeah, to exploit because yeah. it's just yeah. boring. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I and did exploit the game at either. some point, but that's, like, the I exploited the one thing because you simply couldn't find a room or a group of people that weren't doing it. Like, if you right. just wanted to do it legit, yeah. you couldn't yeah, find it. Yeah, you have to do it your own. Yeah, yeah, you have to do it on your own, you just die. Peer pressure. Yeah, it's always peer pressure. Don't do drugs. So, they, drugs. Complete, the they completely nerfed the crafting yeah. and made it so much, like, if you t- come take a look at this here... So, um, a gear set item, the best stuff. Mm-hmm. Right now, I will need 22 gold fabric and 8 electronics to craft it. And you've got, like, no, you've got nowhere near that. You've so, if I go down, so if I was to convert, so for fabric, right. you I can, need... You can convert one material you can convert lower into higher but I need 15 blue to make yep. one gold right so you um, got a bit of work there you got a lot of work for your so I need 10 green yep. to make one blue and then and then 15 blue to make one gold so boom there we go nice we got a blue so we got one blue oh still don't have enough but we're close. Yeah, we're four away now. They fucked up. But would it be easier just to go mine greens in? No. To blues or no, because somebody does. Somebody did the math. I think it's nine hundred ninety nine green converts to X gold. It converts to basically four golds. Right. Because you convert that to blues, which then yeah. blues convert to, and I think it's four golds. So you're easier just looking for blues. Then. You're or easier golds. looking for golds. Yeah. That's what you want to find. And in the Dark Zone, if you open up Dark Zone chests and you kill Dark Zone bosses, they give you gold. Right. But one piece. That's it. It's fucking, so, yeah, that's that's shit. Like, I'd be wanting, give me, give me five. Give me five pieces. And right. when this patch first came Otherwise, out. Otherwise, there's no point in me even running that mission. Why would I even run that mission? Yeah. I can just go get random drops at a higher percentage and run the, that mission more times. So, in your missions, you've got your daily missions, uh, yeah. your endgame daily missions. Now, do those drop materials then like that? Like golds and so, stuff? So, on hard, Let him go. they'll drop five fabric, five, but blue. Ah! What the fuck do I need blue for? And then they give oh, you... Oh, I see. There's your right. rewards. Yeah. yeah. And then they I need. Sure then they give you Phoenix him. credits, right? Ah! Which are what? So Phoenix credits are what you use purchase. upstairs to use your best gear. Gotcha. Or to buy your best gear and yeah, best yeah, gear, yeah. right? Um, so uh, that's a hard mission. Your challenging mission, which is... But you is, have a weekly then, too? Like a daily and a weekly? Yeah, your challenging mission uh, is going to give you probably two, one or two crafting materials of gold. That's it. And then one or two gold items, and then which probably aren't good credits. enough. 
And then 20 Phoenix Codes. Can those be used for material purchases? No. No, they can't. Wow. Yeah. They really fucked over <laughs> the crafting. Why do I want Phoenix credits then? Like, oh, they're useless. Yeah. I lit, you want to see? A, I bought a jacket that was worth three hundred Phoenix credits, just because was I needed to spend it. One? I needed to because you were at cap, really. Yeah, yeah, because I was make at room. Cap. So your weekly assignments again, it just gives you mm. Phoenix credits. Oh, I didn't see it on side there. Uh, Phoenix credits were the most desirable thing in the game. They should be. They are now the least desirable thing in the game because huh. I'm spending them on bullshit. Yeah. Like a ranger jacket. Fuck you, I bought the goddamn ranger jacket. I didn't want to, but it's pretty dope. I like it. Is it kind of cool? Yeah, I'll show it to Why you. Why aren't you wearing it? Well, because I... You spent like fucking... 300 and fucking Phoenix You're not even credits. wearing it? You spent 300 Phoenix credits yeah. on fucking... Whatever. Uh, so yeah, you have your weeklies. <laughs> You're not even wearing a jacket. <laughs> uh, by the way, these weeklies, because I haven't played this week, I've been busy, I got these done in a day. Last night. It wasn't even a day. It was like two hours, three hours of gameplay. Got everything done. Except for... That's the weekly and the daily? Like this is just the weekly. How long does your weekly usually run here? Seven oh, There's days. multiple weeklies. There's seven... There's one weekly assignment. Yep. Which is all of this combined makes one weekly. Yep. Your one weekly. Then you have your dailies. So your weekly is, assignment is more like run that and this and get that and do that? Your like weekly assignment so like kill 20... Right, but it's not Elites like... Elites in the Dark like, Zone. Again, I played... I'm relating it to Destiny. Your weekly mission is one story mission that resets every week. It's just like a super hard... Oh, yeah, story. no, you don't have a weekly. You just got dailies. Right, but you've uh, got like weekly... Assignments. Assignments, yeah. So it's things that you got to deconstruct, headshots, oh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, basically. Whereas your dailies are... Missions. Yeah, you're going to have hard missions, a challenging yep. mission, and then you're going to have two hards and one challenging. And they just give you Phoenix credits and maybe some loot, but probably not. When the 1.1 first came out, everyone lost their mind, and I lost my mind too because we were doing the challenging missions and we were getting four gold items, just right off the bat. And we're like, "This is awesome!" Yeah. They they stopped that. They, they put a kaiba. Oh no! Whoa! Let's start with one. You get yeah, one. but I mean that would be a great drop for a weekly then. You know what I mean? Four or five, you get. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. But right now, so right now the weekly, the weekly uh, mission, I guess you could call it, would be the incursions. Yeah. You can only do the incursions once a week. Yeah. Uh, You can do them as much as you want in that week, but you're only going to actually get rewards for it. On challenge. Hard doesn't give you any rewards? Hard does, but I've already done it for this week. So now i got to wait until next week. So what does challenging give you? Better stuff. So the one equipment item, that's pretty good. So the best you can get... With uh, got a bad the hard mission one. is a two fourteen zero. Spoiler: Fei Lao lives contacted me to the they end of the game. The she does, yeah. Spoiler: Bombing a water plant when the city is um, close to getting So yeah, control. you're hard. You're gonna That's get one setback. piece of two fourteen we'll gear score. Left to save. So a gear item meantime, like a vest, I'm gonna yep. out what the hell something green, a vest, a vest, backpack, something like that, something good. So they do have vests. Well, just of the bullet. Proof persuasion. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Combat best. So that'll be 214. Uh, then you're also going to get a 191 piece. And 191 pieces aren't the best. But if you do it on challenging, which is really fucking hard to do, it is challenging. Yeah, well. And that like, gear score be... they give you there of recommended 160 yeah. is complete it's bullshit. Complete shit. Because you're at what, 240? Two, what did you say, 200? 201. And it's two and change, and you can't do it. Fucking hard. We haven't done it yet. There, there is people that have. We haven't tried too many times either. Yeah, but it's because fuck it, it's not worth the amount of time that you spent to get that it. gear score one sixty. That means that you have the best one sixty gear possible. Right. Nothing else, just the absolute best God rolls imaginable. Right. Which is bullshit. So you could technically run it. At I would sixty. If I would say recommended energy. probably to run that one ninety. Right. Probably be the the lowest that I would go. Um, which is pretty disconcerting. D- 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 what's the word I'm looking for? I have no idea. It's I wouldn't have used it. Disconcerting, thank you. It's pretty disconcerting because when you look at the new incursion, Our prompter. Coming, <laughs> the new incursion is coming. The hard mission is recommended 220. Right, so it's like way the fuck higher than that. Way the fuck higher. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> it's going to suck. It's but like if you look, then. purple gear set item, pretty cool. So purple is obviously above, like it's, yellow even, right? Like that's your really exotic item. So right now it yep. goes... Uh, green, blue, gold. Green, blue, gold, purple. green, 
Oh, sorry. It goes green, blue, purple, gold, then oh, green for your gear so sets. Gold is better than purple. Gold is better than purple. Oh. But your gear set green yep. is the best you can get right now. And then this one, it'll be gear set purple. Yeah. And then the next incursion or whatever will probably be gear set gold. Just coming with expansion sort of things. Yeah, yeah. basically. I got you. Um, so one more. We'll just do the quick rundown, too, of... We haven't looked at skills. Your abilities. Yeah, yeah we haven't abilities. looked at skills. Yeah. So you have all these different ones. Uh, again, with as you unlock medical wing or security wing stuff, more you'll get more stuff. To unlock. Um, and each of these things, so like... So how many are in each... Like grand total, how many metal skill skills are there? Just the four there. Just the, the just four? three. You have three skills, then you have your signature. Oh, okay, that's your special. Yeah. Gotcha. So your signature, your special. So this one basically just it overheals your team yep. and it nice. revives anybody that's currently down, not oh, dead, but revives them if they're down. Yeah, that's cool. So you you get fucked right because you're probably down for so long and then dead. Right. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Um, and then you can see your attributes down at the bottom. How much instant heal it is, how long the cooldown is, all that kind of That's stuff. That's pretty handy, right? though. It's it's a pretty good one. The absolute best one is the one I use, which is Survivor Link. Right. So that's going to give our damage resilience of 80%. It's going to increase our movement speed. And uh, uh, basically, it just means that anyone that's shooting at you isn't going to take you down. Yeah. Because your damage mitigation is 80%, up, yeah. right? Throw a shield up. Um, little stuff like this too. So you have your baser seeker mine. Yeah, we saw that one, right? The that was pretty. That rolled yeah, up there. yeah, it rolls up there. But then you have your mods. Right. So, so you can increase that skill. So it doesn't necessarily increase it; it just changes it. So this right, one's yeah. just a explosion. The next one, it's an air burst, which with fire. This one's really it's a gas, so it's going to completely disorient the uh, uh, enemy. It's going to make them like, oh, yeah, yeah. we can't see. And then this one, it'll split up into multiple mini mines. Clusters, that'd probably be the way to go, eh? uh, Pretty much either, like, the gas or the... Because uh, in the end game, because they're such bullet sponges, you just want them to stop shooting at you. Right, long enough. Because you can just headshot. Headshot, yeah. right? Um, um, and master, it's like, what's master then? So master... Once you've unlocked everything, you can have the master ability? Or yeah. is it always running? The mine can bounce onto an over low cover and can move directly towards its target. So basically you just set it down. But that like, is always now running. That's regardless. always running regardless. Cool. Yeah. So basically you just got your different trees, right? You've got like tech tree, and then you've got mine tree, you've got whatever yeah, tree. Whatever, exactly. Turret tree. So those are all just your abilities. That's your, your bumpers and then your main one. Uh, this one's pretty cool too. It doesn't get used a lot, but it's... It increases your enemy damage, so you got an en damage buff by fifty percent, critical hit chance twenty percent. It's pretty good. And that's, see, this is again where yeah, you would want rolls almost on your team. Like this guy is with that. This guy is our healer. This guy is an. So when we're doing our challenging, we usually roll with uh, this one here, which is support station. So it's little stuff in the support station like immun uh, immunizer. So basically, if you have there's uh, drones that'll come out and shoot sticky shocks and stuff at you. Yeah. If you're as long as you're in this zone, you're fine. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. So basically, there are predetermined roles though. Yeah, for we're gonna have roles. Basically, it's like the ro roles we do right now for if we're trying it on challenging is we'll have a high DPS guy. Yeah, I get the holy trinity. You got healer, you got DPS, and then you got tank, right? Basically. Yeah. So we use basically a DPS. Uh, high DPS guy. We'll yep. use two just uh, uh, leveled up Mids, guys. Yeah. Basically DPS and health. Yeah, and then we'll use a high electronics guy so he can always be rolling like the pulse like crazy yeah. because you're getting so much damage with it and stuff like that. So that's just your skills. Healer isn't as necessary then or it's just something that nobody wants uh, to do. No, healer pretty much is your uh, electronics guy. Right. He's pretty much going to roll high yeah, so health. So you want like a healer, a damage, and then rather than a dedicated tank, you just have two like... You got two, two mid hybrid guys. Yeah, there. exactly. And then these are your talents. So these are little things that are always running in the background. Yeah. So uh, like mine, I have... And you just what have... Oh, I see four slots so you can pick. Yep. Yeah. And like this one is pretty self-explanatory. Heal an ally with a skill to reduce skill cooldown by 15%. So if I throw down my healing station... And he's healing himself with it. Yeah. I'm going to recoup. Uh, you get a bit of heal too off it, like residual. I get heal too, yeah. but also 
because I'm healing him, my skill cooldown is going to be increased Props. by 15%, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I can yeah. just keep doing it faster and faster and faster. The more people using it, the more you can throw it out. Uh, also, this one's kind of this one's officially broken, but it's going to be fixed with 1.2, they say. Headshot a hostile to have 50% chance of not consuming a bullet. Right, so it just goes back to the mag. So basically, uh, what I'll do is I'll equip this one just for shits and ba- So every headshot... There offers a 50% chance of putting yeah. a bullet back in the magazine, right? Yeah, exactly. So I'll just roll so what's up. what's broken about it? Um, it just sucks. It's fantastic. It's one of the best ones to have, but it's broken because it jams your gun. Really? Yeah. So I'll just... Because it basically takes like a 50-round mag. Oh, look at right. this. My gun it is, still thinks it's empty, though. My gun is completely empty. It put jammed. the two back in, but it, your gun thinks that it's empty. Completely empty. So what I do is I switch to this gun, shoot, and I switch to this gun. Oh, look, there's 25 bullets. It's back loaded again. Yeah, so then I'll uh, shoot. There's no way you can exploit that to your advantage, though. And it's broken. Hey. Okay. No. Because it's switching it is in a and out. Horrible switching in and out isn't faster than reloading, is it? It is and it isn't. Because you know what I mean? If you could jam it, switch, switch, and it's back fully loaded, that might be... Yeah, if I was that quick, it would be great. I'm not that quick. In the heat of the battle, I sit here going, Oh my god! Help! (laughs) Yeah. So, that's... I don't use that right now. It's pretty pretty broken. Stay away from it, folks. Until 1.2 when it's fixed. Yeah. Um, Yeah, those are the talents. Mm -hmm. And then these perks are just always there as well because you've increased... That wing in your base of yep, operations. Yep. So then these are always just running. These are always there, no Special matter what. Special thanks to your base. Gotcha. Exactly. Yep. Um, yeah, that's basically it. This is... Uh, the gear sets I'm running are Striker and uh, Sentry's Call. But yep. there's other ones as well. No idea what that means. So Sentry's Call is just... There's, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotcha. There's four different yeah. gear sets. Sentry's Call. So there's only four um, in total? There's four gear sets in total, like in the whole game? or In the whole game, yeah. yeah. There's four gear sets. Sentry's Call, Striker, Tactician's Authority, and Nomad. Yeah. Uh, Sentry's Call and Strikers are pretty much the best ones you can use right now. Mm-hmm. They are the most damaged unless you're running electronics, and then you're going to want to use Tactician's Authority. So with the Tactician's Authority, uh, it gives you 4,000 skill power, 20% skill haste, which is really cool. And then for the more damage that your group does, the better your skill is going to work, which is pretty neat. That's pretty sweet. And then your Nomad is 100% scavenging. Scavenging is also broken right now. So it doesn't help. It doesn't help. Um, 20% health on kill. That's pretty fucking good. That and then this is the coolest one. I, ha- I don't have enough pieces to use it. Well, Basically, fatal damage. You are instead healed to full health. Boom. Every ten minutes, but I mean, you only need to use in it the dark once. zone. You're up and you're gone. You're running. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's basically. But you just don't have the uh, stats for that one. Then. I don't have enough pieces. Yeah. I've only got a couple, couple different pieces. So, so far. Yeah. Wait, That's so basically do they have, the end game for this. Uh, do they have the, have those four sets been out since launch, or have they nope, they've they, added on? They, they just came them. in with the incursion, with the one point one update. So this is the first set of four that have been. Yep, this is the right. first set of four. So then, are they for one point two releasing any more? Or yep, those that's the purple ones we were talking about. Right, so they're coming out with more. I got yep. you. Yep. So they'll just slowly leak out these sets, and you can kind of in the future mix and match yep. a little more. Yeah. So good. like these are the green ones, and then the next yep. gear sets are up there. But you just up. haven't done that yet. No, this isn't coming until. Oh, it's May. coming soon. Yeah. Oh, coming soon. Be... In a free update. Yeah. And those will be so. They're so still... they're doing the same. Green, yeah, blue good. type of thing. Yep. Only this is going to be green, purple. I'm guessing the next probably gear cell probably be gold. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the division end game. That's a little bit of a deeper look. A little bit of a deeper look. What do you I think? Mean, obviously, yeah, you'd have to to really see the end game is more about running the missions. But yeah, that's the inner workings of the end game. Right yeah, if you really want to see the uh, that kind of stuff, don't watch me. I I don't capture it. I'd right. like to. Yeah, one day. day. We'll get there. Ooh, what, what's this? Oh, am I going to collect some tools right now? Oh, this, this is what I do. Some blue tools. Oh, 
blue and two green. <laughs> well, we're on our way, but... but yeah, that's the that's the division end game. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think there's a lot more there than there's a lot maybe, more there than uh, people assume with it being a console shooter MMO, right? Yeah, like there's like I said, it's pretty in depth. There's a lot to offer. Uh, like and my only experience with the console MMO is Destiny, right? Yeah, but that certainly seems deeper than. I haven't played the latest couple patches, though. I think they've gone a little bit more complicated with things. But there it does seem like there's enough there to keep you busy, right? Oh. You can try different things. There's different classes. Yeah, yeah. let's be a healer. Let's be a whatever. And yeah, it's you not know. you're not limited to once you pick a healer right off the Hop bat. Hop over to this one. You can change it however you want. You can be half healer. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's lots. Um, lots there's just do. probably not enough there yet. But as they expand on it, you'll probably start to see a lot more unique combinations. That, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, like, as the, the combination I'm doing right now is kind of a popular mm -hmm. one with uh, three sentries and three strikers. It's yep. just kind of a, what a lot of people are doing. Um, I also like four sentries and two strikers. There's a lot of different stuff you can yeah, do. Yeah, you can mix it up. Yep. Sweet. All right, so that's well, a little bit more. If, or if anybody has tips for us. Yeah, Leave please let me know. Uh, tips, or you want to play, or better if builds, you, or if, if you've beaten challenging and you want to, to help me piggyback and, Ryan's yeah. through, yeah, I love that. I think that great. I can't hold my own. A little bit, not much, not much. All right, cool. I like it. Yeah. Can't afford it. No, like, no, it. No, no. like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that doesn't cost you anything.